Lobos move up eight spots in the latest Associated Press Top 25 basketball poll. Too high or too low? What do you think, Devin? Because right now I'm thinking maybe too quick. Maybe you put them in at 18 or 19 because they're just not reentering after dropping out. They, Of course, they beat 10th ranked BYU, and they beat them here at the pit. And then they beat TCU. But, I mean, eight spots. I mean, the team is very good, and I, I do think they belong in the top 25. But I don't know if I start them in the 15th spot right when they re-enter. The coaches poll, I think, is too low. So, you know, the ESPN USA Today coaches poll, 23rd, nah, they're better than that. So, you know, I'm like, I'm glad they're in, but I don't know if it's uh, if they're in the right spot. What do you say? I don't know. I think they're... So I say, what say you? What say I? <laughs> I'll throw on some Nostradamus prophecies. <laughs> no, but I think a lot of it has to do with look at where BYU was in the AP poll. Now, you said 10th rank. That was the coaches' poll. Right, AP right, right. It was 12th for BYU. This week, they come back out 12th. I think that has a lot to do, you know. Well, That's respect they, they to the respect, Lobos. They respect both the Lobos and both BYU yeah. saying that that was a very tough fight game. Like you said, I think that's, you know, way, way too high for, you know, beating BYU and beating TCU. I think this is probably, like you said, 17th, 18th team. Not to say that this team can't move up further or they're not at that level. I just think it's too, too much of a knee-jerk reaction. And I think the coaches pull in the same way is way too low. Yeah. 20, they are clearly in the top 20. Yeah. And maybe on that buffer of the 15, 16. I mean, I mean that's kind of a reach. But something we talked about that's really interesting, uh, Lobo's 23rd in the coaches' poll, 15th in the AP. Butler, 15th in the coaches' poll, 23rd in the AP. So, you know, I guess it's that that's 15, weird, 23 it? spot that's just yeah. impossible to figure out. But the thing that really peeves me is they start doing this bracketology, who's in the tournament, let's do the bubble watch. It says that New Mexico and BYU are locks to win to be in the NCAA tournament. That really bothers me when there's eight games left to play in the Mountain West season, and anything can happen. I guarantee that if they go three and five, they're not going to be in it. So, I mean, it just pees me that, that we're already on the bubble watch. I mean, what do you think about that? Well, you know, I think if they were to go three and five, I don't know. I think they could. When you go back to strength of schedule and stuff like that, the one thing that would hurt them is down the stretch if they played that poorly down the stretch. But this team is too competitive. This team has – they have too many scorers on this team. They have guys who play defense like – I mean, like their lives depend on it. And so I can't even see them doing that anyway, melting down like that. I see, but are they a lock right now? I, I mean I, – I would say they're a lock right now because of their schedule and because of the teams they've beaten. Those teams have gone on to do well. You know, like you take – like Cal, and, and, and you look at some of the other victories that the Lobos have had uh, over some of the teams that were ranked at the time that they played them. So, yes, I'd put them in right now. I'd say that they were a lock because they I think they've, they've earned that and they've played their way into that. Now, whether the selection committee sees that, because I think the selection committee needs to not get into that uh, trap of being the BCS selection committee. You know what I mean? BCS conferences from football, oh, we're going to pick their teams. No, 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 no. You guys look at the body of work from each team and all that, and, and I know I don't need to tell them how to do their job. They know how to do their job. No, I, I think they. you need to tell them how to do their <laughs> job. I, I, I don't think these selection committees have done a great job well, the last couple of years. Well, well, see, last year they did a horrible job, I thought. you know, And I thought it was based upon, oh, this is a BCS conference. You know, that BCS is football. Leave it out. Don't, don't be looking at it like that. You know, look, judge each team on their merit, on the school, on how they're playing, their body of work during the year. And I think if you say that, the Lobos should be in. Now, as far as New Mexico State is being projected into the uh, tournament now, and I think that's because they figure they might win the WAC. The Aggies pulled into a first-place tie, I believe, with Fresno State on top of the WAC. So, so now the Aggies, by beating Louisiana Tech over the weekend, they've done that. And I think uh, that makes it interesting. What if both teams – are in the tournament, it'd be like old times when the Lobos and Aggies did go to the tournament. The, you know, they actually went together a lot of times, you know, as far as they both were in the tournament. And uh, I remember the Aggies get to the Sweet 16 and stuff like that when, when they went pretty far and and, uh, and the Lobos being in at the same time. And it just, you know, that's gonna that would be interesting for the state because this is a basketball community. be interesting to see if that actually happens, if the Aggies are able to close out their deal and finish it up. Uh-oh, I think we're out of time, but I don't think there's any way New Mexico State gets in. No 
way. You might be right, and I can't believe we're out of time. I'll see you.